Okay, so we want to draw the structure of x e f6. In order to do that, uh, we need to find out the hybridization of this particular molecule. So we will count the valence electrons of every single atom present in this molecule. Xenon is an inert gas atom, is an inert gas element and uh, fluorine uh, belongs to the uh, halogen family. Okay, And xenon has 8 valence electrons, so we are going to write 8 and fluorine has 7, so plus 7 but we have 6 uh, atoms of fluorine, so into 6, right? Now 8 plus 42 is equal to 50. We have to divide this 50 by 8, so 50 by 8, okay. Uh, 6, 48 and we have 2 in, uh, 2 in the remainder and in the quotient we have got 6. Now this 6 represents, the quotient part represents the number of bonds, okay, remember that. And 2, uh, the remainder part is divided by again 2, I mean if this would have been 4, then we, we, would have been, we would have been dividing it by 2, which comes out as 2, 4 by 2 is equal to 2, but here we have got 2, so 2 by 2 is equal to 1, and this 1 represents lone pairs, LP, okay? Okay, now let us draw the structure, we have got the hybridization, 6 plus 1, 7, and for 7 the hybridized structure is SP3D3 which is pentagonal bipyramidal, okay? I'm just gonna erase this part, one second. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, guys, uh, if you are finding the videos informative, then I'll, it is my sincere request to please subscribe uh, in order to find more beautiful videos like this. Okay, let's get to the topic. 6 plus 1, 7, sp3d3 hybridization. The central molecule is Xe xenon. Okay, we'll go, we're going to write xenon here. And we're going to draw a pentagon first. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, fluorine, 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 fluorine. Okay, one second. Yeah, fluorine and again uh, fluorine. Right. Now, we have five fluorine atoms, this one is left, I mean we had six bonds, right? And till yet we have five bonds and we have one extra lone pair also. So, here goes another fluorine and here goes your lone pair, right? Now, what is this structure? So, let me explain it a little. See, for example, I'm going to pick up this mouse pad. This is a 2D mouse pad, right? Okay, so here you have xenon, one XCF bond, you have fluorine right here, okay, one XCF bond, two XCF bond, third XCF bond, fourth XCF bond, fifth XCF bond, okay? Now this all lies in a plane, right? The sixth one, this one, is here, see, here. This, this is a plane, okay, the tip, the tip represents the fluorine and this is the bond, the marker represents the bond, okay, and where is the lone pair, well lone pair is at the back side here, somewhat here, this is, this was, the structure was like this, you know, okay, and, and, wait a second, we, you, you have the lone pair here, okay, lone pair is at the back side, okay, so, this is the structure and now I'll draw a 3D based diagram so you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to erase all of this. Yeah. Okay, let's begin. Okay, see, we had our egg xenon, okay, and we had fluorines. And it basically represented a pentagon, okay? You had it like this. Okay, fluorine, 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 
fluorine and fluorine okay good now we had one fluorine here which was on top of this 2d plane and a lone pair which was below this 2d plane okay here here below this 2d plane this lone pair is below this 2d plane okay and this fluorine is above this 2d plane okay now i'm going to try to draw a 3d diagram now this is a wall this this whole thing this whole thing is a wall okay this is another wall the back side is another wall this one this this triangle one is another wall this is another wall and here you have another wall okay so what actually happens is by hybridization we get this diagram right we we are able to get this diagram but unfortunately this particular molecule is an exception okay so what actually happens in this particular molecules is that the lone pair uh, experiences a lot of uh, repulsion by the by the bonds by the electrons present between these bonds okay in in this 2d 2d plane the xcf bonds which are carrying the atoms which are carrying the el electrons i'm sorry the electrons okay so this lone pair experiences a lot of repulsion so what actually happens is a, a a a kind of a flipping takes place okay so this lone pair is is for example this is a 2d plane okay and above this you have the sixth xef bond and below this you have the lone pair okay the lone pair now this lone pair experiences lot of repulsion by these bonds the 2d bonds this these ones okay and this lone pair flips above and goes and attaches itself to any of the walls okay so we have 1 2 3 4 5 walls it could attach to any wall and it attaches like this okay it attaches like this for example i'm i'm going to attach the uh, lone pair with this wall okay so it attaches like this okay the lone pair is at the lone pair is attached to this wall okay so this is the actual diagram of xef6 right uh that's it guys and uh, please do like the video if you found it informative please subscribe i really need it <laughs> okay thank you and i'll see you guys again very soon bye bye